We're going to show you how to install lead flashing around a chimney breast. You'll need to start by removing some mortar from the chimney. Measure a minimum of 100 millimeters for the upstand of the front apron flashing at the front of the chimney, whilst the step flashing up the side should sit approximately 150 to 160 millimeters above the line of the slates. Mark all of these points on each mortar bend. Using a plugging chisel and hammer, you can then remove all of the necessary mortar to a depth of 25 to 30 millimeters, making sure to clean the area with a brush once you've finished. To fix the flashing, you'll need to measure the width of the chimney stack and the height of the upstand from the bottom of the brickwork, plus an additional 25 millimeters. You'll need a minimum of 150 millimeters on the side of the chimney, as well as a minimum of 150 millimeters down the slope of the roof from the chimney base. The exact measurements will vary depending on the pitch of the chimney, but this example is for a 45 degree roof pitch. You'll need to patinate your pre-made flashing applying a thin layer evenly to both sides. Do this before fixing it in place and allow it to dry for 10 to 15 minutes to stop the oil from marking the slates. Once it's dry, present the flashing to the chimney breast and gently manipulate it into place. Then use a hammer and bolster to make sure the lead is flush with the brick so that the joint can be remortared. Then use fixing clips spaced no more than 400 millimeters apart and making sure not to use them where additional lead is going to be inserted. Six to 18 millimeter clips are suitable for most brick chimneys, but stone chimneys can have bigger joints, so they might need bigger fixing clips. For the step flashing, you'll need to make your lead soakers to the following formula. Slate gauge plus headlap plus half batten width. The width is always 175 millimeters. Once you've measured and cut your soakers, measure 75 millimeters in and bend them to 90 degrees. The 75 millimeter side is your upstand and the 100 millimeter side is your base. You'll need to patinate them all and leave to dry for 10 to 15 minutes before nailing the soakers and slates into place along the chimney breast. Next, measure from the back of the chimney to 100 millimeters beyond the front. Cut a piece of lead to this length and then mark a 65 millimeter watermark onto it. Then mark the bottom of each joint onto the lead. On your workbench, you'll then need to mark each step by drawing a line from where the watermark and the joint lines intersect, through to the outer edge of the next joint line. Use a bevel to ensure a consistent angle. Next, mark the turn-in, 25mm above each joint line, from the outer edge of the lead to the step line. Then, cut down the step line to the watermark and then cut along the turn-in up to the next step line. You can then use an easy flash to bend the 25mm turn-in to 90 degrees. You'll then need to patinate the flashing before fixing it. Offer the flashing up to the chimney to check the fit and then use a hammer and bolster to insert fixing clips to secure it in place. You'll then need to use a mastic gun to apply sealant to the front facing joint. The remaining joints on the flashing will then need to be remortared. 